Hello guys, welcome back. In previous lecture, we have discussed all about how we can display the record on the page. In this video, I'm going to teach with you how you can get the particular record and also how you can update the record. Before updating the record, we need to get the particular record from the table. How I can get the particular record? Guys, first thing we need to create a page. I'm going to show with you the page name like this one uh, edit.php so I'm going to copy that right click on here create a file dot. this one right inside this file first I'm going to copy the index.php uh, file complete file and go to edit.php paste it right go to above and we need to use same thing but we will create a function now the next thing we need to do is first I check that uh, edit.php and what happened we need to save that okay I think okay this is our form first thing we need to update or change the save name to update right and I use same thing I do not change anything else inside this page I just leave the everything without the update and also I'm gonna change this one update and update right everything is same save that and refer that right and I'm gonna change that also update record now the next thing you need to go on operations.php file and you need to get particular record you need to make a function and write the function name get record and pass the parameter right and use same thing db and write the query the query is select static from your table name my table name is implies where the database column name like id equal to this one parameter id right and then we need to write same thing mysql like query pass the parameter like db connection and also query variable same thing do you want to change the variables you can do that I'm going to change that SQL data right and I'm going to return the data variable what happened data right this is our function right I'm going to change that also this is our function so you need to copy this function and go to edit.php page go to above and paste it right but you need to get the basically id how you can get the id guys i go to view.php page and we have assigned the gate variables like uid anyone user click on the particular record then the particular id will store inside this variable this is a called gate variable i'm going to show with you also just a minute I'm gonna use view.php and I'm gonna hover the mouse on the particular record then in the bottom left side you will be able to see edit.php u underscore id equal to 1 u underscore id 2 I'm gonna click on the first one as you can see guys this is a call gate variable so we need to get the record with the help of gate variable so I go to view.php page I leave this one here uh, no edit.php page and I'm gonna use id this is a variable name underscore get and u underscore id this one same variable name this one variable name copy that right once you get the id and store the id inside the uh, a variable yet then you need to copy that and paste it 
right this is very simple but I want to use this one function to get the particular record and also we need to assign the particular record inside our forms inside our input text fields so you need to write the variable I'm gonna use result and call query mysqli fetch associate and pass the result variable right now the next thing you need to use this one variable to get the particular record from the database and assign the record inside the input text field but I need to also use this one db this one right inside this object have a record uh, I mean function with the name of get record right so let's store the record inside the input text field so go to below and use value keyword double quotation basic php syntax and I write the equal statement and call data what is the name of the variable I am going to show the query this one I'm going to change this one to data right do you want to change that you can do that right I'm going to copy that and go to below and paste it use single quotation and write the column name database column name I'm going to show it with you this one this one this one this one this one right so first I'm gonna use what is the name of first name this is a first input text field name so we need to assign the first uh, database column name so I'm gonna use first same database column name right use same thing copy that copy all the stuff paste here this is a call last name and paste here what is name and username right username and also we need to paste that and I think email okay email right now the next thing we need to also assign the ID so I will get an input text field in the starting time I'm going to call input type text type hidden name is ID and paste the same thing value and assign the ID like this one right everything is clear I think everything is clear okay so let's check it now as you can see I received the data from form so I think I need to use view.php page and I'm gonna use third one this is empty field I use web developer web dev what is username username okay I need to change that to web dev at gmail.com but I can't update the record basically we need to work on that right but we received the data from particular I mean table so I'm gonna click on this one right now the next thing we need to work on update the record right so first thing you need to go on operations.php page and write the update record this is a function public function update parenthesis is created. first we need to use global db and I'm gonna use if a statement if a set double underscore post um, what is anyone use a click on the button like this one then come into the type body inside that we need to get the each input text record right so first name last name username email and also ID right so I'm gonna create a variable I'm gonna call dollar underscore post and first column name like ID copy that paste there 
and second a protect field name post um, this one copy past last name double underscore post go to edit dot php last paste here and username right and this call uh, username okay and last one is the email Inbound, right once we receive the data from input protect field we need to work on uh, the query the query is very simple this is a call sql i'm going to call update employees this is my table name set first this is this is a database column name set the first column name this one comma last name this is a call database column name so we need to work on that single quotation comma and what is that database column name i need to check that username username and pass the username variable right this is our query last one is the email email equal to this one email right where this is a database column name id equal to this one variable id right so we need to work on that and we need to use same thing i'm going to call this result mysql i query db connection and sql variable right and if you want to display the message you can do that but i leave that this time because I will work on another process like uh, session messages so this time I just check that so I'm gonna copy the update method and go to update uh, edit.php page and uh, I'm gonna paste that I paste on up so we have db this one function right so I think everything is perfect so we need to check that it's working or not mm, I'm gonna, mm, PHP developer PHP Pi and PHP developer got update uh, index 79 first we need to check that as you can see guys the record has been updated but we need to work on the last one column because this is the error operations.php79 uh, operation 79 this one 79 this one post email okay the column name is a user email we need to press that save that and let's check it now again i go to view.php page and i'm gonna update that php per at gmail.com and let's check it now this time as you can see guys the record has been updated i am able to see in the database so now the next thing we need to display the message on the view.php page but this time i just want to leave that basically we need to work on another process like session messages uh, to display the session message on the view.php page and now another thing we need to work on also delete that uh, delete the record so in the next video i'm going to teach with you how you can display the session message and how you can delete the record so thank you very much for watching see you in the next lecture